I'm glad to stop and drink a glass of champagne with you. Is it Pomeroy? What what are we drinking? Pomeri, Pomeri. So outdoor advertising is what you see outside the home. So any ad that you see outside the home, we we've, we've got some caveats on it. So we um, we we in our association are members who put something on a fixed frame. Our members do 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 you street art because it's a legitimate form of advertising and actually it's where it started, right? So so kind of the evolution has gone from Pompeii where you know we, we see those signs. I've seen them, I've been to Pompeii and I've seen them, you know, where you could you could walk into a, a brothel and see what the ladies had in store for you um, to, you know, people putting stones on hills with a man with a big mallet saying, don't come here, we'll, we'll kill you and we're giants. You know, so we've been using signs for as long as people have been in caves blowing their fingerprint on drawing the mammoth. Um, with their with o- okra, you know, we come from one of the oldest cultures that have been doing it for sixty thousand years. So, pe- you know, we know signs really well, um, and they've evolved now to being digital. But they started off being painted, and I don't know whether you know about this whole movement called ghost signs. Ghost signs, in fact, there is someone in Melbourne who's written a book about this, and ghost signs are. You know when they when they upgrade a building, uh, a historic building, and they pull down a wall. You know, so it's a 19th century building, and someone's put in a 20th century facade on it, and they're taking away the 20th century facade. And what they find is the sign underneath. You know, for Arnott's biscuits or for Schweppes or um, for for something very Australian, like for golfing carts or. Um, and they're called ghost signs because they have been ghosted by the new facade and then they get covered up again.